Thanks for staying late. Uh, we tried to hurry it as much as we could. Uh, anyway, we were able to, to uh, select uh, Kenny Clark, UCLA. We're very excited about that. Uh, we weren't sure we'd have that opportunity. Um, fine young man, um, true junior. And even at that, he was elected team captain at UCLA this year so in a fine university like that. So I think that says a lot about him and his ability to interact with his teammates. Uh, he seemed very excited about uh, being uh, a, a, a new Packer when I spoke to him on the phone. And so we're looking forward to a long relationship. And with that, I'll take a few questions. I don't have many answers, but I'll take a few. Ted, how many choices did, did, you, did you really have at that pick? How many guys did you actually consider at 27? Oh, I don't know. There's all, all different kind of uh, scenarios that you look at. and you know, you, People call about trade possibilities or trade scenarios. You, you look at it and you try to see who's, who's left there. We felt uh, very comfortable when it looked like we were going to be able to zero in on on Kenny, we, we felt uh, like that was uh, that was where we wanted to be. There were uh, several other defensive linemen available there. What put him at the top of that list? Just the whole thing, you know. I'm not going to speak about any other players, but uh, just the whole package. Uh, he's a, a a natural athlete. Uh, moves really good. Uh, the workout sessions were excellent. Um, he's got great flexibility. You know, he weighs 315 pounds and not one of those guys that really looks it. So, again, we were, we were fortunate. We felt fortunate that he was there. Ted, where do you see him lining up on your defensive line? I am a defensive lineman. We, we moved those guys around anyway. I, I, I couldn't tell you, you know. We just drafted him. I think I think quite a bit. It's it's uh, it's actually very common, uh, especially through the Midwest. Uh, football players and and uh, wrestlers kind of become one and the same, especially uh, offensive and defensive linemen, because they do concentrate and know about leverage and understand the way it works and that sort of thing. But that's a good question. But uh, I haven't put the, I hadn't put that together. But but that is true. I don't know if it, I don't know if we treat it like that. We think the you know each uh, uh, each pick is, is is in and of itself important. Uh, uh, we um, so I, I don't know if we look at it that way. You know, tomorrow we'll we'll have picked twice unless we do some trades or something, and and then if I got that question, then you know the next day is. is even though some of them are, are fifth round picks or sixth round picks, that's just as important to us there. So, but we're, to answer your question, probably the way I should have is we're glad we, we drafted the young man we did today. We think that's a good start to this draft. Ted, when you, when you studied Kenny's uh, game tapes, what stood out the most to you on film? Uh, a lot of stuff. The, the hand use, the leverage, uh, he's, he's very natural at that. Uh, he's got a really strong base. Uh, he's not easily moved. Uh, he's, uh, you know, he's a five flat forty guy at 315 pounds. Uh, had a marvelous workout at, at uh, Indianapolis and at uh, in Los Angeles at school. Um, again, we, you know, I know all the teams do exactly the same thing after this first day, but we feel good you know, that we were able to do what we did today. Can he potentially help you on third down as a pass rusher, do you think? Oh, sure. You know, I think there's been a lot said about his pass rush. It was, uh, there wasn't a lot of numbers there until this past year, but I think uh, this past year showed that he's got that kind of ability and quickness and that sort of thing. 
always been a good run player. Did you attend that uh, UCLA workout? I did not. Ted, I can't believe I volunteered that information that I did. Ted, given his age, how do you see him filling out physically? He's still a pretty young guy, right? Yeah, you know, I, I think we all wish we were 19 or 20 years old or whatever it is he is. Um, no, I think, uh, you know, he's, you know, he's excited about being in the NFL. I can, a lot of this is just based on my conversation with him, but he's excited about being in the NFL. He's, he's uh, dying to show us that, that was, this was a good pick and that he's a good player and he's going to have a big career and the whole thing. So uh, we're looking forward to him taking on those challenges. Uh, very, but all the other positions are, are important too. You know I have to water down an answer like that. Uh, but no, we, uh, defensive linemen, offensive linemen, they're hard to find. You know, linebackers and running backs are hard to find too, but, but the combination of being big enough and, and strong enough and athletic enough to compete in the NFL, those are hard combinations to come up with. I know you said the other day that you don't draft for need, but when you lose BJ and you got Pennell suspended for a while, is this, I mean, this does, is, it does fill a critical hole, doesn't it? Yeah, theoretically, but it, it still, we drafted this young man because we felt like he was the best player available. Your, uh, 29 starts, did you have a, you know, were you able to monitor his progress over the last couple of years? I'm sorry? With 29 starts, were you able to monitor his progress over the last couple of years? Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, I mean, we, we do tape studies from before and bring it all the way up, and we do uh, hit plays where it's just all plays where he's involved in, especially with the defensive lineman. But, yeah, we, we watched uh, – we watched plenty of tape on the young man. Ted, um, your friend John Schneider obviously traded with the Broncos and moved back. Um, did you take a call for the Broncos, and how tempted were you with any of those calls that you got to move back, or did you just like too many of your defensive options? Um, to, to get in generalities, uh, I'm not going to get specific. We took a few calls. Uh, we didn't ever get to a position where we wanted to pursue that. Uh, yeah. we, we, but we had some conversations. In past years, there's been players that you've picked with your first pick that you've kind of fallen in love with at some point in the process and then kind of hoped that they were there. Was that the case with Kenny Clark, or was he just the best player of, of a handful of players that you kind of liked that were still available to you? It was, well, I mean, it was, especially when you start getting close, because you sit there for for two hours and you, you don't even want to look at the names because you think you're going to jinx something, you know. But then as it started getting closer, then you look up there and you go, well, wouldn't that be nice, you know. But I can't talk about it. I'm not going to, I, I never mentioned it to anybody else in the room. Uh, so you don't want to jinx yourself or, and all that. So Morning. silly. Hey, Ted, what, do you, what with a guy this young, what do you have to see to make sure that you know that he's mature enough? Oh, I think he's, he's, he was able to get a lot of that uh, maturity there at UCLA. He's, he's uh, ju just over the phone itself and certainly at the combine and the interviews. Uh, he carries himself well. He's articulate. He'll stand up here and, and uh, you'll be impressed with him. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night.